In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make Detective Pikachu's. Ah, do you get it? Because they're shoes? Pikachu's? Hi there, I'm Parajetta, and I make DIY and lifestyle videos for you guys here every week. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to get some more awesome DIY videos. With a new Detective Pikachu movie coming out, I thought I'd take another stab at making some super cute shoes and, you know, have a little bit of pun action going on. So today we're making Detective Pika shoes! Oh my god! The best part about these shoes is that they light up. Yes, that's right. Pikachu in all of his glory is going to have some electricity. All right, why don't we just jump into it and I'll show you guys how to make these super cute shoes. The first thing you'll need for this project is a pair of high top sneakers. I got these off of Amazon and the coolest thing about these are that they light up. Oh my gosh, they are so cool. Then you're going to want to take the shoelaces out of the shoes and set those aside. Then we're going to want to get some leather prepper and I got this in a kit off of Amazon but what this does basically is that it preps the leather or fake leather to um, be ready to get painted on so that the paint will stick and not crack. Then we're going to get some yellow leather paint. This is acrylic so you can wash it off easily from your brush. And we're going to paint that on all over the shoe, everywhere. Make it all yellow, every little last bit except for the bottom part that lights up. So since I started with shoes that were white, I didn't have to put too many coats on. I did two coats. If you have a shoe that isn't white, you may have to do quite a bit more. For now, we're just doing two coats of the yellow. Then you're going to grab the cutest little printout ever. It's the Pikachu face. I will have the printout of these link down below for you guys. Once you have that cut out, you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna draw over any of the pieces that you're gonna wanna transfer onto your shoe. This is gonna be the easy way that we can make this design go onto the shoe without having to draw it out ourselves. So you're just going to put pencil on the entire back of this little print. Once that's done, you're gonna flip it back over and you're gonna place it where you want the Pikachu face to be on your shoe. I did mine on the toe because I'm making the whole shoe a giant Pikachu. Then you're gonna take a pencil and you're going to trace over the outlines of the design. You don't have to fill them in because we're gonna do that later, so you just really have to do the outline, so no need to color in the colored parts. Once you've outlined the whole thing, you can take it off and you'll see that your design has transferred to the shoe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to color in our design. We're going to start with a white Sharpie paint pen. This makes it so much easier to color in the design. We're going to use the white for the whites of Pikachu's eyes. Then we're going to grab some black and we're going to color in the black part of Pikachu's eyes and then also outline his mouth and then use the black for his little cute little nose. Then we're gonna grab a red Sharpie paint pen. We're gonna color in the circular parts of his cheeks and the kind of inside of his mouth, the top inside part of his mouth above his tongue. Then you're gonna grab a pink paint pen and color in Pikachu's tongue. Then you're gonna take some of the yellow paint and you're going to paint over any of the excess pencil that's been left behind so that we can cover it up and make it nice and smooth looking. And he's so super cute. Look at that cute little Pikachu. Oh my gosh. Then we're going to paint on our Pokeball. This is also in the printout and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to put pencil on the back and transfer it to our shoe. I placed the Pokeball on the strap. I wanted it to be forefront and look super cute. So I put it on the strap. You can put it anywhere you want on the shoe, but I liked it on the strap the best. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put it on and outline all of the outlined parts of the Pokeball. No need to color it in, we just need the outlines. And remove that and you can see it has transferred onto the shoe. Then we're going to take the black paint pen and outline the black parts of the design. Then we're going to fill in the colored parts using the red paint pen. We're going to fill in the top half circle and then using the white paint pen we're going to fill in the bottom half circle and the circle in the middle. 
And now we're done with the painted part of our design. Then you're going to grab a square piece of leather. I got this at Michael's. I wanted to get one that was yellow, but they didn't have any, and they didn't have any white, so I went with this brown color, so we're gonna have to paint it. But if you can find one that's yellow, that's going to be golden. In the printouts link down below, you'll find an ears template and a tail template. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to flip the leather over and trace our templates onto our leather. I used a Sharpie because it's easy to see and since it's on the back, it won't really matter. You won't see it later, but you can use whatever you want to trace these on. You're going to want to trace eight of the ears and four of the tails. For the tails, you're going to want to do one with the front side facing up and one with the front side facing down so that you have two of front sides and two of the back sides. This will make more sense when we glue them together. <laughs> Once you have those all traced, we're going to cut them out with a pair of scissors. Now we're going to glue pieces together so that we can have both of the outsides be leather. You're going to want to take one of your front side tails and one of your back side tails and glue them with the back sides together so that the leather part is facing out. And I used hot glue for this just because it's super easier. You could sew these together if you wanted to, but I wanted to save some time and just use some hot glue. Then we're going to do the same thing with the ears. We're going to take one ear, put some hot glue on it, and then put the other ear on top so both the leather parts are facing out. Once those are dry, we're going to want to start painting our leather pieces. I took a Sharpie to mark part of the tail because Pikachu's tail has a little bit of brown at the bottom and then it turns yellow. So I marked a little uh, kind of zigzaggy line um, where the brown will stop down at the bottom. Then you take your yellow leather paint and you will paint in the top part of the tail. Now I will say since the leather is brown, it's going to take quite a few layers to get the yellow color that we want for these. I think it took me like five or six different layers. So be patient in this. Um, if you end up with yellow leather, you won't have to do this part. So I would say if you can find it, look for that yellow leather. You'll want to do this on both sides of the tail, front and back. Then for the ears, you'll see where the black part of the ear should be. And I just took a Sharpie and I drew that on to the ears so I would know which part needed to be yellow and which part needed to be black. Then I did the bottom part yellow with the leather acrylic paint and the top part black with our black paint pen. Make sure you do this on both sides of the ears. And here's what they should look like when your paint is all dry and they are ready to be attached to our shoes. Then we're going to take some matte acrylic finisher that's used for leather and paint that all over the entire shoe wherever there was any paint at all. What this does is it finishes it and keeps it so that if it rains while you're wearing them that it won't mess up any of the paint that we put on. And the best part about this finisher is that it will move with the shoe so it will prevent cracking. And we'll want to put the finisher on our leather pieces that we painted as well so that those won't crack either. Now it's time to attach our ear pieces. What I did is I placed the ears on the shoe to see where they would look best and I hot glued them on. I put the ears right above Pikachu's face right below the shoelaces so we still could get our shoelaces in. And for the tail, I took some hot glue and put it on the brown edge and hot glued it to the back of the shoes just right above the light area in the middle back. I waited for this first hot glue to dry and then I reinforced it with some extra glue around the edges because this piece wants to stay on and I don't want it to fall off so I put some more glue there just to be sure. Then I grabbed the cutest little magnifying glasses off of Amazon and some fishing wire, a clear string that you can't see, 
and I tied it onto the strap clasp of the shoes. This is gonna add some of the cutest little touch of our Detective Pikachu to the shoes. I knotted this on quite a bit just to make sure that these wouldn't fall off. Because the fishing line is clear, you can tie it as much as you want and no one's gonna see it. Now that we have our magnifying glass on, it's time to put our shoelaces back in the shoe. I originally was going to make these yellow, but I thought the white shoelaces actually looked better, so I just put these shoelaces back in that we took out earlier. And now that we have our shoelaces back in, we're all done. We have our Detective Pika shoes ready to wear. Oh my gosh, these are so darn cute. I love this so much. adore how cute these shoes are. I love everything about them from the cute little magnifying glass to the fun little tail and the adorable Pikachu face. Oh my gosh, these are so much fun. I'm gonna have a blast wearing these around because I'm gonna be wearing them around this summer. That is for sure. I just love how much they light up. This is so fun. I've always wanted light up shoes. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up. And you can click right here to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos just like this. And if you click one of these videos over here, then you'll find some awesome playlist videos I've created and a special video that YouTube has picked just for you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!